this becomes more mainstreamed, we get co-opted and, and consumerism infiltrates in. We're a movement here, you know, we're definitely not a market. Who can name our three major sponsors this year? think about uh, the corporate sponsorship of the parade? It's America, you know, that's that's the modern America. Well, I mean, it's good to celebrate, but I think it's become very superficial and corporate owned. Everybody has a friend that watches the microphone. Give them a hand. It's, it could be iffy as the fact whether or not Budweiser actually approves of the homosexual lifestyle or not, but if the homosexuals can give them a buck, then hey, why not? You saw all the corporations coming down there. It is so wonderful. Do you think queer culture is becoming more mainstream in our country? I hope so. <laughs> do you think it's entirely a good thing? Yes, I do. It's kind of a fake mainstream where you can see our faces and shows on TV that don't really have anything to do with our lives. But, uh, you know, the world hasn't changed yet to accept queer lifestyles. Mainstream? We've always been mainstream. We've just had to be quiet about it because nobody would let us be mainstream. We've been here all along. I think they're trying to make it mainstream. I don't think ever will be. They will rebel every step of the way, so. It's time for us to hit the streets as usual. But if we can have space, it's non-corporate. I mean, every day, everywhere you go, everywhere you turn, corporations are breathing down your neck. Well, I'm here because gay pride is not, uh, it's gotten way too commercial for me and way too um, structured. I like a demonstration that's really a dem political demonstration. I'm here to tear down the fucking patriarchy of this goddamn system. In order for us as poor and oppressed people to be free, Society must be radically changed. We must think in radical terms. The next step is, is to get out of the ignorance. You know, talk to each other and, and continue our flow of empowerment. And we can do that if we're not blocked by that racism. And as long as we're there, speak for ourselves, which is what we're beginning to do, our voices are starting to be heard. The minorities have to do a lot more work. We're still trying to uh, protect the ones to come out and then to find their own identity. We gotta get radical. We gotta, we gotta do our work at home. You know, we really do. We have to get involved, whether that's for you know our own global responsibility, but also to see some domestic changes here. Well, I think the next step politically is to work internationally, to make as many connections as we can with dykes and, and women and people resisting around the world, and to just step us outside our governments and leave our governments behind and talk to each other. No, but seriously, I think we have enough lesbians here to take it all down and I think we should.